Well, honestly, I would probably put cleaning and organizing the fridge like right up there with paper clutter. I don't know why I just like it so much, but I hate cleaning out the fridge. But I do know there's a few things that we could do to organize it better, to make it so that it is a little bit easier to clean out in the future, and also so we don't waste so much food. That's been in there a little too long. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom, and we love sharing tips and tricks so that you can simplify your house quickly. This whole month, we are like tackling all the things that we normally put off. So clothes, paper clutter, uh, sentimental items will be coming up next week, all those things because it's January and let's start out the year with a fresh start. So if you wanna stay in the loop and get more ideas for all this, be sure to subscribe. But today we're gonna tackle the fridge. I don't know, it probably goes back to my childhood that I really dislike cleaning out the fridge and organizing it. But I also know it can be a source of guilt, right? I, I wouldn't even want to know how much money I have wasted on food that's gone bad in the fridge in the past. But there is some good news. There are a few things that we could do to make it so that our fridge is easier to keep clean and also so that we have a better idea of what's in there so that we don't waste so much food. So does that sound good? I want to show you what our fridge looks like to start. And so we did just go grocery shopping or have groceries delivered. So this is kind of the fullest that it, it ever is besides like holidays or whatever. And our fridge is actually a, a smaller than a standard size fridge. And so I want to let you know that this is still plenty big enough for us. We don't have an extra fridge anywhere else. And I'll share the key to how we make that work for our family of six in just a little bit. But first, I think it's always important when we go to organize something to think about what are the pain points with it. So for some of us, it's that our fridge is really deep and stuff gets lost in the back. For us, it's that we have this big gap between two of the shelves and we've tried moving that middle shelf around the top shelf, but this seems to be the best configuration, but it's still not awesome. And it causes us to like stack stuff up and then it gets lost in the back. So that's something I'm hoping to tackle today. So the best place to start is to evaluate what is it about my fridge that is not working? So then step number two, we can figure out, well, what do we need to make my fridge function better? So for the longest time, I have put off buying these acrylic fins for our fridge because mostly my philosophy when it comes to organizing, you don't see me use like a lot of containers, is just get the inventory down, get rid of all your extra stuff, and you do not need organizing containers. And so in most areas of my house, that actually works really well. but. I have been realizing that, especially because of the shelf situation, that we needed to figure some things out. So I did buy this set of acrylic bins off of Amazon. The whole six piece set was under $30, so that was a good deal. And they're nice and sturdy and they're clear. But the nice thing when you buy the ones that are actually made for the fridge is that they're they're deep enough. So beware if you're buying just individual bins to make sure that they're deep enough. I think this is 14 and a half inches. So that is important to notice when you're buying these. So I've got these bins I wanna use. I also finally invested in some of these containers that help keep your produce fresher longer. I know I have a friend who says the Tupperware ones work really well, so that's another option for you. These I just got on Amazon. But another problem with our fridge was that the crisper drawers down in the bottom, if anything went into one of those, I, I would never see it again. I know a lot of the newer fridges, they're more at eye height, which I think is better, but so much of our produce never left the crisper drawer until it was rotten. And so, oh, it just horrifies me. So I have learned that I don't keep our produce in those except for like onions or things that keep a long time. But then I needed something else to be putting our vegetables in. So I did get some of these containers. And what I really like is that they're square. So they utilize the space well, and then they also stack. But they have these lids on top. And so depending on the type of produce that you're putting in, they're either ethylene producing or ethylene sensitive. So if it's producing, we wanna have the lid open. And then if it's sensitive, then we wanna have it closed. So I'll put a link below that has more details about which way you want it for different produce. But I do know that this will make a big difference in how our produce lasts. So those are the containers that I want to use. And so why don't we just get started? I am, I'm going to pull everything out, right? That's what we have to do. My fridge is in need of a good cleaning too. So I'm going to pull everything out on the counter. And then we're going to talk about what things we're also getting rid of in this process. Empty container? No one would ever do that at your house, would they? <laughs> oh. 
All right, now we're gonna clean it real quick. all cleaned out I want to figure out where everything's gonna go back I'm also gonna label the spots now I I'm not a labeling person normally but I want this system that I'm putting in place to stick so I think labels are in the best way to make sure everybody in our house knows what's supposed to go where because another problem we were having was that I'd kind of designated this spot for leftovers and I told Tom whenever we have leftovers I'll just put them there so we know when they'll get used up or eaten for lunch but that wasn't actually happening it was like good theory in my head but it wasn't happening so I want to put a label there and hopefully we can uh, make that happen because like for the three days that it, it was happening it worked really well <laughs> so this set also came with an egg container which we have chickens and we get fresh eggs, so this is perfect, but I'm not sure, I don't know, I'd be curious what you guys think if you would actually pull your eggs out of the cardboard container and put them in here, but what is nice about it is that it has a lid, so then you can stack things on top of it. So in that regard, it might actually save some space. All right, so here is my plan, and I think it's actually gonna work really well. I think part of what was not working well in the past is that we just didn't have everything grouped together. So we didn't have all the produce together and all the dairy together. And so it was just sometimes hard to tell what it was we had and didn't have. And that's when you buy duplicates of stuff. So I'm excited to give this a shot. And then I'm also going to put this bin on the very bottom. I labeled it fresh meat so that when we're thawing meat from the freezer or if we buy some fresh meat that needs to get used up it's a little bit different than in the bottom crisper bin I put more like processed meat so like bacon and hot dogs and things that last a lot longer so those can be fine in the crisper drawer they won't go bad very quickly so now we have a place we know if there's meat that needs to get used up or if it leaks while it's thawing it's all contained okay so now that I have my categories all set up I'm gonna start putting everything back in the fridge and See if this will work we it, we don't have to worry about it being perfect right Every, we all have different kinds of fridges and sizes of fridges and different types of foods that we put in them so it might not be perfect we might have to make some adjustments as we go but overall I do think this is gonna be a lot better I think what I've experienced with these acrylic bins like in my bathroom what's really nice is that you can pull the whole thing out and that's what keeps stuff from getting lost in the back and never never <laughs> land in moldy land right is not being able to pull it out so I think from a keeping the fridge organized and clean standpoint to just not losing stuff in the back this is going to make a big difference it also kind of provides some like structure and boundaries to our fridge i mean really fridges have like the newer ones are better but most fridges have very little like structure and dividing stuff in it so that's another thing that these bins can help with and again i am not like a hyper super organized person but I can recognize a problem when I have one. And one other thing, as you're going through your fridge and deciding what food to keep and not keep, I am like the queen of trying new salad dressings because I just, I don't know, I always want that like spicy chipotle, I don't know, like something like you get at a restaurant but I never can seem to find it at home and this wasn't it either and so I try like every different <laughs> dressing out there and usually then what I do is I let it sit in the door until it expires because then I don't feel so bad about throwing it away so this I'm just looking at it it actually it does not expire until June but I'm not gonna put it back in the, in the fridge because I didn't really like it the first time I tried it so nothing's gonna change that's gonna cause me to like it so if you have things in your fridge that maybe you've tried and you didn't like you bought it for a recipe and you used a little bit of it but you have no plans of using it in the next month or so let's part ways with it now i'm gonna pass this on to my mom let her try it on my dad's salads and just cut my losses now right putting it back in the fridge will never make it so that i suddenly like eating it and i'm just gonna like go grab it and use it all up I'm really excited about this produce bin and that if we're like making dinner or a salad or something it'd be really easy just to pull the whole bin out see what vegetables we have to use up and then put the whole thing back again this this could be a game changer <laughs> all right that actually feels surprisingly good <laughs> to have all those categories in the fridge even if it gets a little bit messy during the week just to even know that like when we get groceries it'd be really easy to quickly put everything back in its spot or before a meal plan to see everything that i have before i order groceries and so i'm hopeful that this is going to work really well okay so i'll show you how the fridge looks all complete but first let's talk about 
freezers real quick if you have a freezer attached to your fridge those are other spaces that like have no good organization I don't know why they end up being just like these big wide open spaces and they're kind of hard to organize and so one of the best things that I have found to do is just these dollar store um, shelves so basically again just trying to break up the space so that it's not just a dumping ground but here's the thing that's made the biggest difference to my whole fridge the freezer and the fridge is this idea of inventory you've heard me say it before but this is especially important when we have limited space and so we kind of need to like respect the boundaries of our fridge and realize that when it is jam-packed full it's impossible to remember what we have to use everything up before it goes bad. And so for us, I have to keep the inventory in our fridge down, otherwise that's when stuff goes bad. And so what that looks like for us is that we grocery shop once a week and we try to mostly just get enough stuff for that week. I don't stock up ahead because that's when I was getting in trouble with things going bad and that's when my fridge was and my freezer were overflowing. So even our freezer right now, yes, it is not healthy foods in there. Those are like our backup foods of like, I call them like my better than McDonald's <laughs> food. Like it's our quick stuff if we get in a jam. But just even in there by keeping the inventory low it is very quick and easy to glance in see what it is that we have to eat and make sure it gets used up before it goes bad same with the fridge when it's not packed full it's really easy to look in it and see what needs to get used and honestly by the end of the week our fridge looks like almost completely bare <laughs> and the kids are like will you please order groceries but to me coming from a place where i used to waste so much food it actually feels really good because we really don't waste that much anymore and we use up everything throughout the week and so that feels a lot better than having all this stuff stocked up that I didn't actually end up saving money in the long run because I was wasting a lot of it so that's just what works for our family I would love to know what works well for you please share that down below it's so helpful thank you for watching we hope you subscribe if you want to do some more decluttering and organizing I don't really like organizing <laughs> but you know, getting stuff in order so that it's easy to manage. That's what I'm all about. So be sure to subscribe so we can do more of that kind of stuff together. A thumbs up is the best compliment that you can give us and we'll visit with you again soon.